Hey guys, this is Eric from Final Cut Studio School coming at you with a real quick shape tip. Somebody wanted to know, okay, you went over trackers, that's fine, but what about if your tracker gets obscured by something? Say your tracker goes off, the, the object you're tracking goes off screen, or the person you're tracking walks behind a building and you lose your track point. What do you do? How can you finish tracking? Well, I'm going to show you real fast. Okay? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to... Got my footage here that I filed in, and I'm going to start from the beginning here. I'm going to go to my transform tab, and I'm going to append a stabilize node. Okay. Now I have this stabilize node. I've got one point. That's all I need, because I'm just going to track these two uh, watch cigarettes I have here. I just need one uh, tracking point to do that, and you can get the idea and apply it to more if need be. I'm going to take my tracker, and I'm going to put it up here on the tip of my cigarette. And I'm going to adjust my search box down a little bit. Make it a little bit smaller. Like that. And now I'm just going to go over here and hit my track forward button. Now, I'm going to keep my hand on the escape key. When my tracker gets ready to go off screen or gets ready to become obscured by another object, hit the escape key and stop the track. So let's begin. It's going to track forward. No problem. Get ready to go off screen. Escape. Okay, now as you can see, I hit the escape key right before it went off screen. Now what do we do? Well, come down here and hit your offset track button. When you do this, the emblem will change to this right here. And when you mouse up over your tracking box, you'll see this little X. You see this X through the center now? It's hard to see, but it's there. Let me zoom up. Now you can see this little yellow X. Now what you need to do is, now that this X is visible, take this box and drag it and position it over another tracking point at about the same location, as close as you can get, rather. So I'm going to take it and drag this box over now, and I'm going to stick it on this cigarette. Like that, right there. Okay? We frame back out. Now that I've got that set, I'm going to go ahead and finish my track. Go ahead and finish my track by hitting my track forward button again. And as you can see, it starts its track again. It's off screen, but it continues because I have that one tracked. And hit escape. Back up a little bit to where it right when it went off screen. Now, as you can see, when I scroll through my screen here, my scene here, right there, it's tracking along, and my tracking point has went off screen. Now it wouldn't matter if it was off screen or obscured behind something. It would work the same way. You can see we've offset our tracker to another point and it is now tracking that offset point. It'll get to there. Our tracker will hold, hold, hold. And it'll go off screen and it'll switch and start tracking our obscure point. So that's how you do it guys. Real quick and simple. Nothing to it. I hope you've learned something. This is Eric from Final Cut Studio saying we'll see you next time.